What's up guys, it's the only ninja one, Aviators and Superhero Hat, bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. And guys, welcome to another episode of Martial Arts Explained, where I take a martial art and break it down and explain it to you a little bit better for those of you that want to know more about different types of martial arts. Now, in this episode, we're going to break down the truth behind Gun Fu. And so, sit back, relax, because we got to run that intro. Gun Fu, Gun Kata, Bullet Ballet, and Gymnastic Gunplay are all words for one of the most popular martial arts in media today, being shown in some of the most popular films like John Wick, Wanted, and countless other comic book movies. You, uh, working again? No, I'm just sorting some stuff out. Oh, well. I'll leave you be then. Good night, John. Good night, Jimmy. This is the style of detailed and complex close quarters gunfighting that resembles other martial arts like Kung Fu or Taekwondo. And let's just get this out right now. This style is great at what it's designed for. The focus of Gun Fu is not effectiveness and not realism. It's not even self-defense. It is designed to use firearms in a way that they were not intended to use in order to capture the intention of an audience member. So, yes, it's not good at self-defense. Yes, it's not how you should, are actually supposed to use a gun, but it's not designed to do those things. It's not designed to be that. Director John Woo originated the style in the Hong Kong film A Better Tomorrow in 1986, launching the heroic bloodshed genre of films in Hong Kong. This genre paved the way for movies like The Matrix, Mission Impossible, Kingsman, and even arguably the Black Widow movie, which is scheduled to come out later this year. People using Gun Fu often combine dual wielding, flipping, parkour, and melee attacks all together in what could be considered a dance, and a very violent dance at that. Even reloading can be an art form, tossing guns left and right and catching them the, the mags in mid-air, stuff that would literally be impossible to do in real life, but looks cool on camera, so totally works. Reloading! Regardless of its unrealistic elements, Gun Fu has become a staple of modern action films due to its visual spectacle, and th it does have a lot of haters because it isn't realistic, but I'm telling you, it looks amazing in certain movies. When done right, it looks absolutely amazing. Now, since this is a fictional martial art, then it's going to have fictional notable practitioners. Agent Zero from X-Men. Hit Girl from the movie Kick-Ass. Snake Eyes and G.I. Joe. many other major pop icons and of course I got to give a shout out to all of the awesome stunt performers that helped bring this style to life in the list of movies that are way too numerous to go over so to all of you stunt guys my heart goes out to you I still love you guys I hope you enjoyed this video I love Gun Fu and I'm honestly gonna probably watch Kingsman again because it's like one of my favorite movies uh, and this just kind of gives me an excuse to do it so yeah success <laughs> but d please like this video if you like it and if you know someone that's interested in this topic share it give it a share you know show your friends or whatever stuff like that it's always super helpful for me but until next time my name is DJ Moore this is the modern ninja and I'm out.